What's up guys, Bob here at the Hibiscus House Bed and Breakfast. Um, wanted to start this episode off by giving you a little backstory. We have now been innkeepers of the Hibiscus House since October. Now, we are working on our eighth month as innkeepers here at the inn, and it has been a complete trip. It's been a ton of fun, um, met a lot of great people. One of the reasons we had come up with our mantra of you know, you enter as guests, you leave as friends, is we've actually, over the course of this eight months, have gotten very close to a lot of folks. And it's really the, kind of the way we push it. We really wanna push the idea that you're you're coming home, you're coming into a home, we make you feel comfortable. As long as you're respecting a place, we're good. Um, we don't put these like really weird off the wall rules out and such, but um, we have a lot of collaborations that are coming up here. We are working into our slow season, so I am gonna have more time to be able to show you some of the the back end of how our business works, as well as um, some of the collaborations we're working on in town. Most of the collaborations we're working on will only be within the River District. So we've got like the Ford Edison Estates, which is only three blocks away. We have um, the RDA or the, the River District, which is right downtown. We're only about four blocks away from them. We've got craft brewers. We've got, I mean, you name it, we've, we've got everything down here. So we're trying to work where we are enticing folks to come, be able to park their vehicles and not have to drive anywhere if they don't want to. There are tons of restaurants, downtowns, shops, bars, and tons of entertainment. Now, I know a lot of folks come to Southwest Florida for the beaches, and yes, we are only about a 15, 20 minute ride from the Sanibel Causeway and into Sanibel and Captiva. So, for the folks that don't mind that little bit of a ride, we do provide with them beach bags and beach chairs and noodles and sunblock. So, you really don't have to come down here with anything and we will provide all of that for you to take with you to the beach and enjoy your day. We are also working on um, lunch packages so this way it's something where you say hey we don't necessarily want to drop 40 or 50 bucks for, for a lunch you know we pack sandwiches we'll pack snacks and waters and, and such like that and you're able to take it to the beach with you so you don't have to go searching for food you kind of have it all there. So this being said one of the big game changers that I think we're actually looking into playing with right now is um, Jerry McArdle uh, approached me a couple months ago. Now she is the owner of the Clara's Tea Garden um, about selling my teas or selling her teas here at the inn. And I started looking and I'm like, and the teas were so good and they were so fresh and they were they were just done so well that I'm like, you know, let's, let's see if we can't push this a little bit further and do like an afternoon tea type of setup. So we went today and we got some banners made up to hang out front of the, uh, of the inn solely to be able to have people riding by see that we are now becoming a um, a uh, an afternoon tea place but we're not going to do that traditional you call up you come in you get a table after your hour you eat and we push you out we really want to push that community conversation you know telling stories and really kind of what what afternoon teas are supposed to be it's coming in and not feeling like you're you're rushed to eat your sandwich drink your cup of tea and leave so we really are pushing the idea of folks coming in, sitting, talking, and enjoying their afternoons, and then going about their day at that point. So you figure if you come in at noon and you're here till two, you're here till 2.30, I'm not gonna push you out. I want you to enjoy the space. I want you to enjoy the house as much as Colleen and I do. So uh, we have some print material that's going out here in the next, I'm hoping to get it printed up by Monday or Tuesday, and then I'm gonna start getting out to some of the local um, 55 and older communities down at the chamber. I want to work with some of the condos across the way. So I've got a, I've got a lot of things I want to push and a lot of things I want to do um, before this takes place at the end of June. So, but if you want to check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, we're there. Also check out our website, www.thehibiscushousebnb.com. Um, other than that, guys, if you like what you're seeing and you kind of like the idea of what I'm doing here, smash that like button, throw me a comment or two, um, share, subscribe to the videos. That would be great. And um, I will see you on episode two. I'm going to try to get that one out maybe the next week, two weeks. So I'm going to aim for about every two week uh, uh, episode. So kind of see how it goes. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. And I look forward to seeing you. Bye.